Hey, what's going on there, guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene, and today we're gonna talk about how the 420 scene even happened and the history of how we got started and how we got here. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for one on one grow help, tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget if you want to come and check out our grows and just chill with us be sure to join our discord the link to that will be in the pinned message below not the description I thought i was going to say description i like how i say the history of how we started how we got here like i made it sound almost like i am legend or like the walking dead how we got here some of this stuff is kind of a blur so i'm going to try my best to explain you guys how we became 420c and how we got to where we're at right now sitting at i think we're over like almost at like 46k so thank you guys for all that support this kind of time ties in obviously to when we first started growing why we got into growing and I was always part of that kind of group that you know we were trying literally just our whole goal for the day was to just score some bud it was our mission it doesn't matter if it took two hours or four hours or 15 minutes they would never take 15 minutes that's why I kind of said that last two hours four hours to get like one g maybe two g's never an eighth okay i mean that, that's pushing our luck listen we didn't have that much money at the time okay we were young everybody was poor and broke and, and busted pretty much tried to like scheme our way into getting some butt but it never worked out because as you get older you kind of don't want to deal with that crap anymore it gets boring it gets old really quickly you know what i mean three hours just for a few buds you know what i'm saying it's just like that's kind of what got me into growing initially i was like why don't i just grow it myself and that i could have a whole bunch to myself and there were a lot of youtubers talking about the green ganja or anything the devil's lettuce nobody was talking about it like you had a few youtubers off the top of my head literally these are the youtubers that inspired me to start with the 420c x code a because his life stories are the bomb and that's kind of what that's kind of the direction I wanted the 420 scene to go into, but it never really did. So that, so now if you notice like the life stories, we're trying to incorporate that into our channel. I don't know if you guys remember this one YouTuber. It was back in the day, okay? I don't know if you guys ever heard of Grow 420 Guide, but he was one of the really cool YouTubers that I really got a lot of my tips from, and he's been doing it for a long time. He met Tommy Chong, and this is pretty much a time where Tommy Chong wasn't really meeting with new people. Like he was like definitely a lot busier then than he is right now. And of course, Cali Green. I always talk about Cali Green. I still watch his videos. I binge watched his videos like last week and I don't really watch a lot of Canna content. I, I really don't. Those three guys is what started. So Cali Green was the reason I got into the whole Fox Farm thing because a lot of his earlier videos, he was repping Fox Farm Ocean Forest. I still remember the one line he said, the soil that you use is gonna make you or break you. And then like when he was using Fox Farm, I'm like, oh man, Cali Green's using that. I'm gonna have to use it too. And then I started mixing all the different Fox Farm stuff. You guys saw the videos throughout the last uh, five, six, seven years. I was just using nothing but straight Fox Farm. Cali Green's the reason behind all of it. He was the reason a lot of my techniques are what they are right now. Because I've helped a lot of you guys out. And I know I helped a lot of you guys out. Because you guys literally just always hit me up on Discord when we had Instagram thanking me in the comments section on YouTube. So Cali Green definitely contributed to the reason why I make videos for you guys. But when I started growing, it got really addicting. I mean, it got really addicting fast. The first time was... It's not like I can say it was addicting, but it was just exciting. It was something new, something different, something I did lots of research on, and now it's time to actually put all the stuff that I learned into play. I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those guys that bought the entire Fox Farm Dirty Dozen nutrient line because I felt like if I use all the all the Dirty Dozen stuff, I figured I need to use every nutrient on the nutrient line to cover, I guess, every part of the plant. At least that was, my whole intent like that was my thought process obviously that's not a really good thought process but that's how marketing works though like when it comes to marketing these guys are like they just know what they're doing they just know how to get you to buy stuff because it's pretty much to make you feel that you need to buy this stuff and that's kind of how the fox farm dirty dozen was i was in the stores i was in the hydro store i was grabbing this i was grabbing that i was grabbing that i have a checklist all the stuff that i need to get everything oh my god i think i spent at least two thousand dollars just to get my first run going and i don't even know if that includes the lights and that does include the lights because i remember my first two lights that i had one was led and one was hps the led that i had was the advanced platinum p450 led 
see. I mean, it was as blurple as blurple gets. If anybody saw through the window the colors that are coming out, they're just like, this guy grows. That's not a good thing. I know a lot of you people are like, oh wow, you always knocked on HPSs. What HPSs did 420 scene have? And the answer your question, in case you guys were wondering, the HPS that we had was the Yield Labs 1000 watt ballast with the air cool hood. I still remember it. I think I got it on Amazon for, I think it was like 385 or $400, and that thing was hella bright. It was like getting EMP'd in Black Ops 2. Now the thing with the HPS, which is shorthand for high pressure sodium, in case you guys were kind of wondering, some of you guys stumbled on here are still pretty new to the game. Okay, I'm a little baked right now. Just work with me. I really did like my Yield Labs HPS, but the electric was insane. After the first month, I saw what the electric was. It went from $80 to like $350 and I'm not even kidding you, just one light. It was a thousand watt ballast. It was, oh man, it was so bright. I still remember it being loud, but you had switches for the light intensity. At this point, I thought that was really cool. It's not something I've seen before. You also gotta remember, before this, I only had the platinum P450 LED, the only thing we had with veg and bloom switches. It wasn't like you can change the light intensity, you just have veg and bloom. So just seeing that for the first time, I thought it was super advanced level stuff. I'm talking about LEDs 2.0, bruh. So then I decided I wanted to do a YouTube channel. I wanted other people to see what I'm gonna be doing. And I kind of wasn't sure where I wanted to go with this. I really wanted to talk about 420 friendly stuff. I didn't really, I didn't really wanna have a specific grow channel or anything like that. I wanted to do stoner life stories. I pretty much wanted to do something that was gonna be entertaining for the people that are gonna be watching me. I was more about the entertainment value. Like I wanted to make people's days. So I figured I'm pretty fun. At least most people think that, okay? So when I started my channel, I had to ask myself two important questions. And this is actually a tip, especially for any of you prominent YouTubers that are trying to get into content creation and the world of content creation. The first thing I asked myself is, why should people watch me over the next guy? The second question I asked myself is, what can I do differently? What can I bring to the table that somebody else hasn't done? Like, so I don't copy anybody's style. And then I incorporated the maybe the x code kind of vibe if you ever watch him he is really cool youtuber i think he's pretty funny he does like a lot of the stoner life stories so i wanted to do a grow channel there were so many grow channels there were so many different styles out there and then a lot of the other content that i would watch like luna and x code a i kind of combined that into the grow style and that's how we pretty much have the 420 scene right now the format that we have it the first channel that i started though was actually kush life and we were just straight up showing our grows at that point like I didn't want to get famous or anything like that I just wanted to kill some time do something interesting something more creative and that's when I started the Kush Life channel and I was documenting my grows probably I think I was doing videos maybe every other day like I was I was just pumping out videos left and right what I would do is I would put in day one you know I would talk about day one or two and you know while showing you guys what we got going on and that's pretty much what we were doing for the longest time and I kind of got bored of doing that you know because a lot of other people were doing that on YouTube eventually we got shut down we got shut down on Instagram no actually the Kush Life Instagram if you notice it was Kush Life 50 and I had that when I had Kush Life channel so the Instagram channel was older than the YouTube channel for 420 scene because I didn't want to just change. So a lot of the stuff that I had when I was Kush Life, I took pictures. They were like the very first photos and videos that I even had on Instagram. YouTube ended up canceling all that and it wasn't even because of the growth. I started doing something a little bit different. I wanted to do smoke reviews. So I was pretty much smoking on camera on YouTube and that is an absolute big no-no. Like growing is okay. It's just gonna get you demonetized. If you take it the next Next step, if you start smoking on your videos, you will get banned. I know, I don't know how some people get away with it, but that's exactly what happened to me. That's why the Kush Life channel is no more. It ceases to exist. And I'm not gonna lie, I was bummed about it for a while. I mean, there were a few months that just went by. I was really upset because it was all of my work that I had for the previous three years, and it was just really, I mean, it was absolutely frustrating. A lot of the videos that I made took a lot of work to make them. And it's just so frustrating because you put all this effort, countless hours into all this content 
content and all of a sudden YouTube is just like, nope, cancels you. And it gets really depressing when you work hard on this stuff. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get back on YouTube. I'm gonna try to do things a little bit differently. Doing smoke stuff is just not gonna work. If you notice in the beginning, I have the smoke coming out, but that's okay. As long as it doesn't show you actually doing anything, then you're perfectly fine because then it's just hearsay at this point. Then I started doing tips videos. I felt like that got a lot of traction. We got partnered with the YouTube monetization program. 420 scene happened right around the pandemic. I started a little bit earlier, but I was working as a loan counselor at that point. Like I had an actual nine to five job. And then when the pandemic hit, everybody got hit with unemployment. I got hit with unemployment. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take this time instead of just sitting around like everybody else is doing. I'm gonna take this time. I'm gonna focus on my YouTube channel because I'm gonna be staying in all the time anyway. So at this point, what do I have to lose? I have everything to gain and nothing to lose. The worst thing that happens is I lose my channel anyway, which is something I was already expecting to happen. So I started my YouTube channel, 420 scene. I have no idea where, like me and Brittany, we were just sitting, just thinking about it. And I kept saying, oh, like, you know, the punk scene kids. You know, I started talking about scene stirs and just something scene, 420 scene. And it just, it just worked out. And I was like, how about 420 scene? And Britt's looking at me, he's like, well, that actually sounds really catchy. Like that could actually work. And then that's how the 420 scene happened. Now the glasses, a lot of you guys are wondering what's going on with the blue shades. I have vision problems. That's one thing. The second thing, I wanted to do something a little bit differently. I never really saw anybody wearing sunglasses on the live stream. So I figured it's something that I can do. You know, I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. I think I look cool with the blue shades. I got it from Daily High Club. I was like, wow, you know what? I'm gonna be using these for my videos and see if this, see if this becomes a thing and it actually did become a thing. Everybody wants these blue shades now. It's crazy how this channel just evolved. Like we were a grow channel. Now we're got the stoner life stories. We got more vlogs in here. So this is kind of a hybrid channel. This is a channel that you really don't see anybody else really doing. You know, like I have my own style and I'm glad that a lot of you guys enjoy watching my videos. Like I really do appreciate it. And it's been a crazy long journey. It's just been a really great ride overall. Like well, we've had a lot of support from you guys, not even just like Patreon, but I mean, I mean, Patreon, that's like a huge help as well. But I remember when I did my interview with Mr. Grow It, Chris, you guys know him, he's an OG, he's my boy, you know, he's my friend. At that point we had like 10 or 12,000 subscribers and that was about maybe a year ago and now we're already at like almost 50,000 subscribers. So that's insane, you know what I'm saying? That's really insane. So like I appreciate all that. Growing is something that I really wanted to incorporate and I figured the tips video is something I can provide so people that have a lot of questions. This is definitely something that's hard for beginner and I wanted to make a channel that would give content to make beginners feel like, oh, you know what? I can do this. I can definitely do this. So I'm not trying to make anybody a pro here. I'm trying to get people in the game and get people motivated and stay motivated to stay in the game. That's what the 420 scene is all about. It's all about helping you guys out while at the same time, we all have a good time. You know, like I try to be funny. I try to be entertaining. I try to say a lot of cool stuff, have some cool vlogs in here. I like to change it up so you guys aren't really watching the same thing all the time. I try to have more of a variety of my content. So that's pretty much what the 420 scene is about. And we're here to stay because this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've been on YouTube for at least maybe six or seven years, but you know, different channels just didn't work out and the 420 scene, this channel definitely worked out. It's been absolutely fun, I'm not even gonna lie. Like everything about this channel is just the bomb. It's kept me busy, which is great. You know, you gotta keep busy, you gotta keep that mind occupied 24 seven. Well, maybe not 24 seven, but you get what I'm saying. But yeah guys, that's how the 420 scene started. It's been two years in the making. I think we've been really, really making content for maybe the last year and a half. Like the Tuesday, Friday, Sunday schedule, and we're gonna keep that schedule up. I think it's been doing great. It's just been working out, and it seems like you guys enjoy us having three videos a week instead of two. Because at one point, we were only doing videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, and then I was like, you know what? Let's get more content out there. Let's get more videos for people, to keep people entertained on the weekend. But yeah, guys, if you have any other questions, definitely drop it in the comments below. Before I do close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really Really appreciate the love and support. So I'm gonna close off today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.